From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, choosing Zimbabwe's next president, an oil leak in the Gulf of Thailand causing concern. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Norman. Polls have closed and vote counting is underway in Zimbabwe where President Robert Mugabe and Prime Minister Morgan Changarai faced off in a presidential contest marred by pre-election claims of fraud. It is Mr. Changarai's third attempt to unseat Mr. Mugabe, who led the country to independence in 1980. VOA reporter Sebastian Mofu says voters in the capital Harare expect, expressed mixed views on who should be the country's next leader. Prime Minister Changarai has accused Mr. Mugabe's party of trying to steal the election, but Mr. Mugabe has denied taking part in any vote rigging. The two have led Zimbabwe through a fragile power-sharing government that was set up in the wake of the last vote in 2008. Election authorities in Mali have extended vote counting from Sunday's presidential election. Provisional results have been expected to be released Wednesday. However, in the capital, the officials in Bamako say they are still verifying boat counts from across the country. On Tuesday, it was announced that partial results indicated the frontrunner and former Prime Minister Ibrahim Boubacar Keita has a comfortable lead and could win an outright victory. Egypt's military-backed interim government has declared two Cairo vigils by backers of ousted President Mohamed Morsi unacceptable threats to national security. Authorities ordered police to put an end to sit-ins, but to stay within the law and the Constitution. Mr. Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood movement says it fears the military may be setting up the demonstrators for what it says would be another massacre. Security forces shot at demonstrators in Cairo Saturday, killing at least 80 people. Here in Washington, on Wednesday, State Department spokesperson Marie Harf was asked about U.S. reaction to the sit-in crackdown. We've continued to urge the interim government, uh, officials, and security forces uh, to respect the right of peaceful assembly. That obviously includes sit-ins, so we've made that point publicly and privately. Um, and we'll continue to do so. Amnesty International says the military-backed government's order to clear out the vigils gives force to the seal of approval for further abuse. United Nations says Afghanistan has seen a rise in the number of civilian casualties in the first six months of this year. UN Assistance Mission in Afghanistan said in its annual mid-year report that the increase in civilian deaths is due to the greater use of bombs. UN documented more than 1,300 civilian deaths and 2,500 injuries in the first half of 2013, a 14% increase in deaths, 28% increase in injuries over the same period in 2012. U.S. You know, Secretary of State John Kerry has arrived in Pakistan there for meetings concerning American drone strikes, the war in neighboring Afghanistan, and the fight against Islamic extremism. Environmentalists and engineers say the Thai government needs to improve the safety of the country's offshore oil industry after a rig in the Gulf of Thailand released tens of thousands of liters of oil that has since washed up on popular beaches. Ron Corbin has more. Thailand is weighing up the cost five days after 50,000 litres of oil leaked into the Gulf of Thailand while being transferred from an offshore platform some 20 kilometres out to sea. The eight kilometre long spill has already reached the resort island of Koh Samet and is moving towards the Thai mainland near Rayong province. Thailand's Marine Department has lodged a police complaint against the pipeline operator, while Thai officials called for efforts to clean up the slick, with experts called in from Singapore to assist. Ron Corbin for VOA News.
Bangkok, Thailand. Record heat wave across much of China has claimed several lives and prompted Chinese authorities to issue an emergency heat advisory. Shanghai, for instance, had numerous deaths from the heat, which has had more than 38 degrees Celsius, nine days straight of that hot a temperature. Conditions are not expected to improve soon, with forecasters warning that some areas south of the Yangtze River could see temperatures lingering above 35 degrees for another week. Got more news at our website, boanews.com.